welcome back to my channel. My name is Tega and I'm a blogger from Lagos, Nigeria. Today I'm going to be talking about something very interesting and that is teenage discipline. What is really effective discipline for teenagers? So if you are a parent, you are a future parent, this is something you want to watch. It's going to be interesting. I have three kids, a 14 year old Omeza, 13 year old Onise and 4 year old Omeza. So, I think I have some knowledge about what I'm talking about. I'm not just talking for talking sake. So, yesterday, anyway, I was on Twitter and, you know, um, I saw Mass and English was trending. So, I said, oh, what's this about? So, I opened it. And then I saw that it was a family from Zamb Zambia, I think. Zambia. And this boy did an exam, senior YA, and, of course, he was not of course he didn't do very well so his father was giving him the african discipline you know how you when you bring brand results home <laughs> what you get i didn't get to i had a very empathic father you know but a lot of people you know don't have that and i've heard stories of what fathers do when you bring bad results home so this video was shot by the mother for some reason the woman was shooting the was you know, videoing the whole thing. And I don't even know why. I was thinking like, why? Why is she doing that? So, after she took the whole video, the video ended up on the internet somehow. I don't know how. But anyway, this guy was slapping this boy left, right, and center. It was slap after slap after slap. There was some hair pulling going on. And it was, in, my, in fact, I felt I was almost like feeling the slaps. Every time he was slapped, like, I was like, ah, shh. You know, I mean that's how affected I was by it. So I, you know, went through the comments and I was expecting people to say, "Ah, oh, why, 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 why is he doing that? Why is he so brutal?" And what I was seeing was, "Ah, this man is even nice. Ah, this man no even sabi anything. If it's Papa Bolu, ah, you see what he will do to you. Ah, this man. I was like, really, I really got to that point where we think, you know, physical abuse is is is, is punishment." Now, before I go further, let me just disclaimer. This is my opinion. We can disagree. I mean, you, you can have a totally different opinion from me on this. So, before we go further, let me just say, I am saying what Tega thinks is effective. As far as slapping, hmm, these are two teenagers. I have slapped. I have slapped. So, it's not like I'm saying, I'm judging something I have not done. A lot of times they will press your button like this and you, you, will, you will slap, you, you will flog, you know. But the question is, is it effective? Is it really, is it okay? Does it give you the desired result? Because at the end of the day, we want results. When you discipline your child, you want you to say, okay, you know, after all the slaps, you were getting this, now you are getting this. Is it effective? Okay, so anyway, before I go for that, let me just let you know what this result was like. This is Junior Waek. If you if you wrote Waek, if you wrote if you've written Waek in Nigeria, you will understand what I'm saying. If you've not, I can explain a bit. So English and mathematics, the boy did not show up. I don't know why. He did not even show up for the exam. For the exam. So I'm thinking maybe he's in boarding school you know and you know was playing i don't know so anyway civic education nine if you did work you know what that means that's f9 that means you failed um christian religious studies i'm sure the boys are christian nine you failed f9 geography six that's a, that's a credit not a fantastic credit but it's, it's a credit um biology eight that's just like a pass let's make people <laughs> and then science was an F9 so you know not good music he's doing science I'm thinking he's in junior secondary school maybe nine year nine you know music he got one that's a one that's distinction so he failed everything else and got a distinction in music that's a clear message right there first of all before we go further and second of all what i see here is really a very very bad result and this would you know make any parents mad and angry 
but this this is re this is really bad but this is not the kind of result that happens overnight this kind of failure does not happen overnight you must have seen the child over time struggling and you know struggling with all these subjects i mean he cannot just bring f knife 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 be like ah what is it it's like it's like uh -uh. I started from before, from primary school, you could have seen the struggle, you would have been able to say, okay, what do we do about this? How do we address this? Slap! We now open his head and put the book inside. It will not. That's the truth. Now, something I did not hear anybody on Twitter say was, this child might have some learning disabilities. Dyslexia is a thing, whether we like it or not. It is not a woman sickness. It happens kids all over the world. Yes, Africans don't believe in it. They believe I reject it and I rebuke it so you cannot come to my house. Yes, but doesn't mean it's not a thing. It's a thing that exists. HDHD, ADHD, attention deficits, you know, those the other things. They have so many synonyms for them, but basically, a lot of children have learning disabilities that slack we know work for. So, is the slapping in this instance effective is it going to make the child in the next exam say oh, wow i'm going to do so well it's not let's so before you eat meal before because so before almost beat off my head on twitter yesterday it wasn't even it was not nice i was quiet for like 30 minutes like what did i do but before you eat me up okay, let's look at it objectively hmm? our parents maybe my grandparents my parents were not so, but well, generally our parents, our generation, our grandparents all grew up in very strict homes where they would be like you will receive correct beating for misbehaving, for failing in school, for doing all these things we were properly disciplined. Ask yourself, all these politicians we have in Abuja, president, like all of them that are failing woefully and failing Nigerians as a whole, did they not all come from this, this background? You know, they did not, did not all come from these homes where discipline was a thing. That is the generation, Coco. Most of them are from that generation of, I uh, will peel your bum bum. And it happened that soon. But yes, they fail us, they fail Nigerians every day. We are live now. Let us talk about the Oyubo. When they said their children say, I know you can do it, baby. I know you can. You have, you have more. You are doing, you are, you are, uh, you have you can do more than this uh, i believe in you uh, maybe take their cell phone away and see the privileges and all that so you all those ones is rubbish it doesn't work they are spoiling the child but these are the people who have brought about the max Zuckerberg. these are the people who have brought about the bill gates the people who are doing exploits tesla all the people are coming from the Oibo. please they are doing something we are not doing all our slapping and beating our water cake. Who is it? Who? I beg you, see, I'm over it. Too. See, as I'm talking to me, I just slap, I beat, I flow. But as I'm doing it, I, 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 you do it. I think a lot of times it's like reflex. You're so upset, you're so angry, like, you know. But when I settle that, I know in my mind that this is not effective, it is not the right way. You, you know, there are other ways to do it. My opinion. Beating a child gets you results in the short run. I've told you, don't watch TV before 6 o'clock. You need to get all your chores up. Back, boss, bass, boss, bass. You get it done in the long run. But what we are doing as parents is raising children who are... I need to study. I need to get that good grade. I need to go to school. I need to graduate. I need to get a good job. I need to get this husband this wife have children they are close-minded we are not raising free thinkers in Africa we are not raising open-minded children in Africa children who are going to think about hmm, how do I make this world better what can we do to make the pollution in the air reduced how do we solve the power problem in this nation we are not raising free thinkers so if you like be busy they will give you what you want, which is short run, short, basically short run results. So, this is my two kobo, my two cents. 
let's hear from you. I would love to hear from you. Do you think flogging, you know, slapping and all that, this video, you have to see it. I'm going to put a link in my description box so you can watch the video and even the results. I don't know if I'll be able to put it there, but I'll be able to, I will try and put it there so you can see the video for yourself. Personally, it's not effective. What I saw was a child that needs help. What I saw was a child that might probably be the Michael Jackson or the Frank Sinatra of his time. Dude, this guy got A1 in music. A1, if you wrote to IF, you know that A1 is not my mind, it's not beans. He paid everything else, though. But, you know, all I'm saying is we need to think as African parents. Are we doing the right thing? Are we helping these children? What's again? Ah, we just slap, I we just beat. Is it helping them to think outside the box? I would love to hear from you. Let me know what you think. If you have not subscribed, why now? What are you waiting for? Please subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell and leave a comment. Let's hear from you. Let's know what you think about this topic. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching my video. It's always nice talking to you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Ciao.